the final day's press conference and a downbeat assessment from Jennifer Morgan of E3G. The issue is that we need transformational politics to solve this. If we wait until everybody looks at each other and sees what everybody exactly is going to do, we will never solve this issue. And therefore, what is required is for countries like Australia, who is on the cusp of announcing a target, to come here and put something on, within the scientific range on the table to build trust with the developing countries so that they believe that the North is actually going to act. We need um, developed countries to respond substantially to the proposals that the G77 and, and China have put on the table. We are hearing not only uh, disappointment, we are hearing anger from developing countries who have worked hard to come here to actually discuss substance and yet have had been not have had their proposals not responded to. So we don't see any of those excuses as real excuses. We would expect more because this issue requires uh, real leadership on this, on, to move forward. And a question about why Saudi Arabia is pushing so hard for carbon capture and storage to be included in the clean development mechanism. Basically, for Saudi Arabia, CCS is the key issue because they see mitigation on climate change uh, could be a big threat uh, to their oil uh, trade and industry. So that's why uh, they are uh, seeing CCS as a main way, main way to mitigate uh, climate change as a way that they can accept. So uh, although there's a huge opposition against having uh, CCS under CDM, mainly by Brazil, uh, AOSIS and several countries, they uh, uh, and there was some kind of decision to delay decision to COP15, but uh, they were insisting on including it, and Qatar, uh, which supports Saudi on, on this issue, uh, managed to put a text uh, uh, in, in, uh, in there, and uh, were able also to move it forward because they started to block uh, red, uh, if, and, and this is the tactic they usually do if they don't get pr progress on something they want, so they threaten uh, blocking the progress. We've seen this uh, done before by Saudi Arabia in terms of response measures where uh, to get uh, progress on response measures they hinder progress on adaptation and now in this negotiation they threatened uh, hindering progress on dread uh, and adaptation as well to push CCS. So uh, they want to get a result out of it uh, now. The concern of Brazil and other countries is that this is a, a technology that's still under research and development and it's not ready and it's not going to be ready in the coming uh, 10 to, to 20 years. So basically, uh, and they're worried how it's going to react, uh, Brazil specifically are worried how it's going to react uh, uh, and, and, uh, geologically underground since CO2 is acidic. Uh, they, are, they are worried about liability, who will carry the liability, who will ensure that if something wrong goes on, who will carry it. Uh, um, and they're trying to get uh, this CCS into the adaptation fund so they can have access. Uh, uh, sorry, the Saudis are, are very keen on getting it to uh, part of the cake, as they described it, uh, getting CCS into adaptation fund not only to protect their oil trade, but also to get some of the uh, money available out there. So I took the opportunity to find out more about the current state of carbon capture and storage from the companies who are exhibiting here. The main idea is that in the boiler, instead of the normal air, is used the oxygen. Then the oxygen goes to the boiler, and the boiler is process of, of, of burning coal with the oxygen atmosphere, then is the desulfurization plant, it's cleaning SO2 removal, then is removal as well some, some steam, and finally is condensing, uh, is condensed, compressed and cooled the CO2. So does this mean that carbon capture and storage is now a reality? Yes, it's, that, that is very important. It's reality and the first tons of the, of the CO2 which we captured, they are very, very high purity with the 99.7% of the CO2. And we can capture with this technology up to 9 tons CO2 per hour. Per hour. And is it, can you do this from a conventional coal power station? I tell you, this is the, the boiler is especially designed to use the oxygen, this is the difference. But we, we build this plant for the 70 million euro only to operate it for the free maximum four years 
to properly design the demonstration plant with the capacity 300 electrical megawatts. It will be the size of the de demonstration plant. The demonstration plant should be built about to 2015. But based on this experience, we plan to build about 2020 the commercial power plant with the capacity 800 to 1000 megawatts. And we assume that the cost of the capture CO2, it means the cost which have to add to one megawatt hour, will be lower than 30, 30 euro per ton. It means it will be commercially, uh, commercially available project. We are convinced that this is the future, the future of the power generation, not only in Poland.